California, I urge you to vote no on Proposition 22 in November. Don't fall for those $220 million campaign by Uber trying to buy your vote. Those TV ads where they say those are drivers, those are paid Hollywood actors. They're not real drivers. And you, California, bailed out Uber to the tune of $413 million during the pandemic. You know why? Because it's people like Stephanie Tamal Vital and her gang of attorneys and Uber that keep on misclassifying drivers. They don't, uh, uh, they don't give them their health benefits. They keep the earnings down. They deny them a voice, right? And they simply are not following the law that was written into place on the 1st of January 2020 called AB5, written into law by California. Stephanie and her gang think they're above that law. They can circumvent the law so that you have to bail out the driver each time with your taxpayer money. That's wrong, right? That type of conduct, attorneys get disbarred over that. These attorneys should be disbarred here in California and elsewhere. Another thing, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday it was announced that the uh, Uber legal team had formed a nonprofit, that's a legal identity, and sent out millions of yes on Proposition 22 mailers to your doorstep. You probably got these big glossy um, brochures, right, through the United States Postal Services. You know who picked up that tab? You did the California taxpayer, because they found a loophole and put that through a nonprofit so that you had to pay for that campaign. That is the cheek that Stephanie Tomal Vital and her disgraced Uber attorney and counsel crew have. you got to say no on Proposition 22 to that type of behavior. Stop Stephanie from misclassifying drivers and denying drivers their health care. Very important. Now, Stephanie and her crew, you know, they have their patents uh, registered offshore with Uber so that they pay zero cents into the U.S. system. They use the bridges, the highways, the streets, the freeways, and they contribute zero. Stephanie and her Uber crew, every month when they declare their numbers, quarter after quarter, it's billions of losses after billions of losses after billions of losses. They never turned a profit once, but yet they take these supersonic salaries. Dara Koshra Shawi gives himself $40 million plus dollar salary, and they keep on screwing over the drivers. We've had enough. Stand with us, California. Um, another thing, these um, companies by, again, misclassifying drivers, free up millions and millions and millions of dollars for themselves and investors, right? So I say to Stephanie, I have a parting message for you. I'm looking you directly in the eyes. As you go out there on the streets, once you've abandoned the sinking ship, the Titanic called Uber, you'll be knocking on new law firms' doors and looking for a job. I ask those law firms, I hope you have some ethics morals and values when you pick your attorneys, right? And you look at her tainted past and you look at what she and her gang have done to drivers and say, you know what? Sorry, we cannot hire you. And you kick her out the door and she's back on the street. Deserves no more than that, right? So California, stand with drivers and vote no on Proposition 22. Thank you.